Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to be here this morning. My name is Erin, and I'm teaching here on the beautiful Victory Fields. It's a gorgeous day outside today for Mystic Fitness. Please come and join us for our outdoor classes. We're here seven days a week at 9 a.m., and we would love to practice with you. If you can't come out, you can join us here, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and flow with us. For today's practice, it would be great if you could have a block. If you don't have a block, you could use maybe a small stool or a stack of books, anything that just brings the floor up a little higher. And you might be more comfortable if you have a pillow or a rolled up blanket as well nearby, just in case you'd like to use that for your practice. So I have 9 a.m. I'm going to get started. We'll begin today's class in a seated position. Allow yourself to cross your legs in front. And if you're not feeling very comfortable here, maybe you sit up on a block to allow the ease to come down into your hips. Once you start to arrive into your space, let your hands rest and close your eyes. We'll begin here with some gentle breaths, just inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. So just softening completely to begin with. Allowing yourself to take in everything around you. Take in everything stirring inside of you. And allow it all to just become one beautiful place. Notice the grounding of the earth beneath the hips and feeling the pull of the sun's energy, the crown of the head. As we just take a few more moments here to settle into our body, settle onto your mat. Leave everything else to the side for now. Lengthening the breath, inhale, fill the belly. Long, slow exhale. Draw the air in long and slow, belly to chest. And exhale it out. Still taking some nice, easy breaths. Noticing sensations in the body. Noticing whatever it is that you notice and not forcing a thing. We'll get about three more here. Two more. One last easy breath. Mm. Lovely. Float your eyes open. We'll inhale and sweep the arms up overhead. Lift your soul, your gaze to the sun. And as you exhale, draw your hands down to heart center. We'll open up our class today with a beautiful warming sound of Om. Let your spirit shine here. Let's take a big inhale together. Oh. <sighs> Gorgeous. All right, we're going to continue with a little breath work here. Just let your hands find a comfortable place. This is our belly bonfire breath. As you inhale, you're going to fill the belly and the whole pelvis. And as you exhale, begin to squeeze the pelvic floor up and maybe activating those deep core muscles right away. Inhale, relax that effort, fill. Exhale, squeeze and lift. We're beginning to warm our deepest core muscles. Inhale. Exhale, pelvic floor engages, then those deep abdominal muscles, which will support our practice this morning. Couple more belly bonfire breaths. Exhale, fuel your fire. Relax as you breathe in and take in the oxygen. And then we direct that oxygen to our deepest fire within. One more here. And deep exhale. Good. 
Let's take our in-breath, dive forward and up. Here's our seated cow position. As you exhale, curl and rock it back. Inhale, forward and up. Open the chest, shoulders drop down. Exhale, curl and rock it back. We'll take several more. I want you to move at your own pace, taking your time to slowly warm the spine. Hips are opening up as well as we're hinging forward and back. And we'll get one more like this, inhaling forward and up, lift your soul. Exhale, curl, rock back, chin to the chest. This time as we come forward, spin around to the right knee and then to the front and over to the other side. So we're still incorporating that cat-cow type feel on the spine, but we're also stirring the pot a little bit. And what's in your pot this morning? Maybe you got something juicy in there. Stir it on up. And we'll stir our pot the other way. Little arches you come forward and around and curling as you rock back. Allow your shoulders to do what they want to do here. And we'll get one more in this direction. Feeling free to go the other direction if it feels uneven for you. And we'll come back to start in the middle. This time we'll inhale, sweep the arms up as you dive forward. And as you exhale, fists come to that Uddiyana Bandha and it's a long lean back. And I'll spin around from the side so you can see that too. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, draw a little belly in. Feel strong now, long spine. Try it again, inhale, forward and up. Exhale, fists of fire, and you might start to lift your feet up a bit. Couple more, inhale. Exhale, take that fuel and draw it into the belly. One last one, inhale up. Exhale, fists of fire. Good, Karina, take it in. Your feet are lifting a bit. If you're feeling adventurous, you might come into a little bit of a boat here. Hold the thighs, keep the chest proud. You want to rotate your ankles a little bit. You're welcome to. If you want to say, look, Ma, no hands, you can let go. And maybe rotate the wrists. One more breath here, either holding the legs or not. Big breath in. And as you exhale, we will come back to sit with the feet crossed. Nice. Let's come on to our hands and knees now to continue warming up. You'll take your knees just underneath your hips and the hands under the shoulders. We're going to take our right leg now and lift it in towards the chest. Take that knee in and then exhale, press it on back. So we're going to come into some hip circles here. Take a big in breath. As you exhale, knee comes into the chest, curl, and then out and around. Exhale to draw it in. Inhale, open and expand it. So we're using those deep core muscles to open it out to the side, warming the hip joint, learning how to move from deep core. One more circle. Once your leg comes back now, even it out, extend the leg back for your balancing table. Right hand or left hand rather can stay down or left arm reaches up for a few long, slow breaths. Let your drishti fall straight down to your mat. That's your focal point. Keep that lifting and engagement of deep core muscles. One more breath. And slowly take it down. Let's try the other side now. Inhaling, left leg takes a long leg back. Engage core muscles. Inhale. Exhale, curl deep core muscles. Open and around on the inhale. Exhale it in. So take your time to start to learn to move from the deep core. Opening up the hips. One more circle there. Next time you extend the leg back, even and level out the hips now. Stabilize through all 10 fingers. Engage. Maybe you take the opposite arm forward for a little more fire, a little more heat. And if you're practicing outside with us, it's heating up already and it feels wonderful. Take one more breath. And then slowly come back down, tabletop position. Maybe you come forward and back just for a moment. And we'll curl our toes. Press your way up to downward facing dog. Now anytime we're in dog or anywhere else for that matter and you'd like to take a rest, feel free to drop to child's pose. Here in down dog, we'll pedal the feet, bend one knee and then the other, allowing your opposite heel to drop down a bit. Take a few more like that. Really press fingers into the ground. Then we'll find a still dog. I'd like you to try to bend your knees a bit and see if you can press longer through the spine. We'll strengthen and lengthen the spine first. And then as that starts to feel good and open, 
You could work on straightening the legs if it suits you to get a deeper stretch in hamstrings. We're gonna to try to activate our deep core as we come in through plank here. Let's get a little buoyancy in the knees by inhaling, looking forward, little bend. Exhale, pick up the hips, wave to plank. It's a little stronger. Inhale and plank. Exhale, knees down. Lower all the way to the ground, elbows, graze ribs. On your inhale, chin tucks. Lift up, cobra. Exhale, start your journey back, downward facing dog. Good job, take a breath. Let the breath go. We'll try that just one more time. Inhale, look forward, knees bend to get the buoyancy you need. Exhale, deep core waves through to high plank. Inhale like a rock star in that plank. Exhale, knees drop, full body slowly lowers. Inhale, tuck, chin, lift, cobra. Exhale, let's start our journey back, downward facing dog, beautiful. Take a few breaths here. You can stay in down dog or if you'd like to take a quick little road down to child's pose. Whatever you want to do here. We'll be here for another breath. Long and slow. Very last one. Great. If you did decide to take a pause in child's, let's come back up to downward facing dog. On your next in breath, look forward. Knees will bend. And on the exhale, we'll walk the feet up behind the hands. Inhale to your half lift here, hands to the shins. Exhale, fold down with bent and soft knees at first at least. And let yourself maybe sway. Little side to side. I like to walk my hands from one side to the other. Knees stay bent to help slowly lengthen the hamstrings. This will spread the stretch across the full muscle rather than pulling here at those attachment areas. Heads heavy, if you like ragdoll, we'll be here for another breath or two. So maybe you decide to hold the elbows. Head might shake out, let any last doubt or whatever it is you're holding onto roll gently off your shoulders and be absorbed by the earth. It is no longer yours to hold. Last breath. That was a good breath. Let's inhale, rise all the way up, extended mountain, lift your soul to the sky. Exhale, hands draw to heart center. Beautiful. We'll come through one of those core focused vinyasa flows here. On your in breath, arms stretch to the sky. As you exhale, a slow hinge with soft knees to Mother Earth. Inhale, half lift, supported by hands on shins. Exhale, hands plant, step to down dog, and you can skip every chaturanga if you like but we will be doing them with the knees down today. Of course you can keep yours lifted. Let's inhale, look forward, knees bend. Exhale, wave and roll that plank. Try to move each vertebra separately if possible. Inhale and plank. Exhale, knees down, lower all the way down. Inhale, tuck, chin, roll up. Exhale, back to down dog we go. Now we'll inhale, right leg to the sky. Here's three leg dog. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip. You can give it a little wiggle and jiggle if you'd like there, or keep it where it is. On your next in-breath, let's take a three-leg dog, take it back. Exhale for a tiger curl, knee into the nose, pick up the hips, grip the floor, grip the ground. Inhale, stake it up there. One more like that. Exhale, knee into the chest. Let's inhale it up again, nice and long. Exhale, knee into chest, pause, and step to your right hand. I'm going to switch to my other foot there with the right foot forward. We're coming into our runner's lunge here. I like to use a block under my left hand. If you don't have one, you could put your hand down on the ground. And we'll sweep the opposite arm to the sky. I want to get a little shoulder movement in here. We'll take a big in-breath. As you exhale, right hand reaches back as the back knee dips. Inhale it up and around. Exhale it back. Allow your elbow to find as much buoyancy as it wishes here. As you continue to warm up the joints, warm the muscles, discovering your range of motion. We'll come back here. Finally, we find our twist. It's pressing up and away from the block rather than collapsing down into it. Nice and strong. Another big breath. Fill your lungs every time. Last breath in, as you exhale, right hand comes down. We're coming into a airplane lunge. So finding that deep core, both arms back. Take a moment.
were leaning long and strong without collapsing over the front leg. Crescent lunges next on the inhale, back knee dips a little, inhale your way up. Shoulders soften. Getting some fist of fire lunges here, my friends, let's fire them up. Inhale, everything straightens. Everything bends down, fists into the hips. Inhale up, exhale, fist to hips. Maybe belly bonfire breath here. Big exhale. Another one like that. And very last time. Get fierce. Beautiful, let's come back and open up. To crescent, shoulders come down. Flying our airplane, arms come down, lean forward. Press into the front foot. Maybe you're here for a baby balance or begin to lift that foot up more. Find your steadiness, find your ease as you work. When you are ready, step back to crescent and lift your heart. Let's come back down to the ground. Hands meet at the front of the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Just take a moment, feel out that right leg. Now we give the left leg the same love. Let's inhale the left leg up there. Exhale, we'll bend the knee. You can shake it out. Do whatever you like here. This is your practice. On your next breath in, long leg to the sky. Exhale, tiger curl, one. Nice, inhale it up again. Exhale, deep core assists, knee comes in. Last one. Exhale, draw it in. This time we will step to the front and get ready for our runner's twist on the left side. Right hand on the block if you're using it. Open up and twist. In breath to prepare as you exhale, the back knee dips and the hand reaches back. Inhale, unwind and lengthen. Exhale down and around. So you let this be flowy and feel right. One more here, opening up, testing out our shoulders. And then we'll inhale it up here and stretch it tall. Gaze for the sky, or if it feels better for your neck, you can gaze down to the earth. Just find somewhere soft to focus. Another big breath. Last breath in. As you exhale, left hand comes down towards the earth, but we're preparing for that airplane lunge. So lift and engage the core. Arms come back. Find that long line of energy without collapsing forward here. And we'll see if we can make our way up to crescent. Back knee dips, lift it up, arms come down. Here we go, fist of fire, inhale up, exhale. Four more. Get fierce, maybe just a little fierce. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Inhale, expand, and shoulders draw down. Be proud. Stay here. Let's see if that airplane's here for us. Arms back, come forward, press off, launch it up. Do what you need to do. Maybe back foot needs to tap down. We're practicing. It's never perfect. And we'll make our way slowly back to our crescent lunge. Arms lift up with a breath in. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Walk your way back, downward facing dog. Breath in and out. Last little bit of work here for now. Let's inhale, bend the knees, look forward, exhale, roll to your plank. Hold plank. We're just gonna take a little spin of the heels to the right and the left. Little Diablo plank, just baby ones, no worries. Get out of your head about it. Plane to your body for three and two. And one, let's drop the knees down, come back to sit on the heels. If you'd rather rest in the child's pose, do what you wanna do. Maybe you circle out the wrists. A nice wrist clear you can do anytime in practice is to massage gently down forearms. Maybe getting into the crease there and giving your hand a little wiggle and jiggle. Water, maybe. You're spitzing a bit. Great, all right. I'm ready to rock on. If you'd like to rest more, you can, otherwise, come back up downward facing dog my friends and walk it out all right let's inhale right leg all the way up to the sky again exhale knee into those paws and we're going to step it forward so i'm actually going to spin around on this one so you can see where i'm going 
you know, walk your hands towards the long end of the mat as you drop the back heel. So we're kind of in some warrior two feet. Hands are on the floor or maybe some blocks. We're just gonna come in and out by bending and straightening both legs. So we're gonna find a nice stretch through inner thighs, a nice gentle hip opening before we do our side facing postures today. We'll eventually stop this motion and come in to make sure front heel is either in line with the back heel or the middle of your foot. I like a block here for my hand, but you don't need it necessarily. As you open up to extended side angle, try to unwind and pull from that deep core. You can bring your arm onto your thigh, stretch your other arm up to the sky. You wanna make sure you're pushing up and away. Let's reverse warrior here, inhale, sweep up and back. And exhale back to extended side angle, long and strong. Again, inhale it back. Exhale, extend it. Last time, inhale it back. Exhale, extend. One more breath and extended angle, shoulder draws down. Beautiful, we'll inhale now to warrior two. And now spin your toes to all face the long edge of your mat. We're a wide open stance here, coming into a quick goddess. Heels come in, toes out. Let's have a seat. So I like to kind of move and groove my goddess seat a bit, weaving through the spine, getting cozy, getting ready. And then we'll set ourselves right up in the middle here. Fire mudra, so we're taking all of our fingertips to touch and creating a little flame. We're gonna inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sit and spin to the right, pull the flame down. Inhale up, exhale, sit and spin, other side. One more on each side, sit and spin it. <sighs> inhale, exhale, lower belly draws in and up as you sit and spin. Now we'll inhale up again, come back to goddess, maybe a mudra with thumb and forefinger meeting. Or maybe you prefer a little less in the shoulders and you bring your lotus to your heart and gaze lovingly at that little flower that pushes up through the muck and survives like we do. But maybe you're feeling more shoulder action and you're here. Awesome. Let's release. Inhale, come all the way up, legs straighten. Pivot toes towards long end of mat. Arms come out and down. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale with knees bent. Let's find our forward fold wide. And we take this time to really relax into it. I usually come into some side lunges myself here. A little side to side action. I love that opening. Reminding myself to be fluid, not so rigid, not worrying about the end result, but enjoying the journey. Finally, I'll allow myself to settle in. So as you're ready, settling in here, a block might come underneath forearms or hands. If it's a little too deep, always want to make sure your knees are bent a bit, even if it's just a micro bend. Last breath. Good. Let's inhale, find half lift, set the block to the side. Pivot your toes to the front of the mat as you come back into lunge. And then we'll step back, downward facing dog. One more Vanasa flow here. Inhale, forward knees bend a bit. Exhale, wool and wave plank. Inhale, strong and squeeze. Exhale, lower the knees, slowly lower, elbows, graze ribs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we'll do all of that on the other side. So let's inhale the opposite leg up to the sky, left leg now. Exhale, draw it forward, step to the hand. Drop the back heel, you're gonna walk your hands to the other long end, and side to side we go. And we all look different, and we're all amazing. Finding your range, finding your flow, maybe a real flowy, and you wanna really wave it. You do you. Once you're feeling ooey gooey and amazing, we're going to change to strength. I'm gonna grab my block just in case I decide I want it. As we open up, we're really focusing on opening up from that deep core. Hand can be on block at any height or forearm on thigh. Let's reach the arm forward now or up in your extended side angle. Oh, if you're practicing outside today, it's an absolutely gorgeous moment 
to look up at the sky. It's so blue. Air feels so nice. Let's flow. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Last time, let's inhale, reverse. Exhale, last moment to hold extended side angle. Let's come to warrior two on the in breath. And then exhale, pivot your toes to face the long end of your mat. Spin around so you have a better view of me here. <laughs> and then we will come on down into goddess for one final round of goddess. This time we're going to take our hands to the heart. So the shoulders are relaxed. We'll find a little marching with the feet. Lift right heel, left, right, left or not right, and left, and one more each side. We can stay here, or if you're feeling super duper adventurous, ooh, maybe lift both heels. You can even come lightly in and out with both heels lifted. Change happens. <laughs> Drop them down, nice. Pivot your toes to me, relax your hands. Inhale, arms up. This time they float all the way out to the side. Interlace behind you. Grab a towel, a sock, whatever's handy if you need a little more space to reach your hands. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale with soft knees, hinge. Try to even the weight in your feet. Relax the neck. Last breath or so. One more, and if your hands aren't happy here, feel free to release them to the ground. If your hands are still interlaced, we'll keep them there as we rise. Inhale, a little softening of the knees. Use deep core to come on up. And exhale, hands come down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're bowing gently forward. Walk hands to your front foot again, and we will make our way downward facing dog. Deep breath. And out. One more. Returning to the front of the mat. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, walk, hop, jump, however you like to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Let it go. Shake out your head. We'll be here for one more breath. Beautiful. Let's inhale, rise all the way up nice and tall. And exhale, hands come down to heart center. We're gonna come into a little bit of a chair pose here, nothing too crazy. For this chair, we want the feet hips width apart. We'll take our arms to the sky as we breathe in. And exhale, we're gonna draw the hips back as we find chair. So I like to reach my hands forward because it helps counteract the hips coming back. If you peek down, you should be able to see the toes. You don't want to have a lot of pressure in the knees with them coming forward. Try to draw them back. We're going to come in and out of this with some bows forward. Maybe you take a lion's breath with your tongue out. And don't be shy, right? We're going to take a big breath in. Come all the way up. Exhale through chair and bow. Inhale, just to chair. Exhale, bow. Throw it on back. Two more. Inhale, chair deep engagement. Exhale, throw it on back. Maybe you're letting out your energy there. Inhale. Exhale, whatever it is you didn't say. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, open up. Throat chakra, maybe tongue out. And one more. And let it go. Let's come back to chair in the in-breath. Draw the shoulders down a bit. Arms forward, fire mudra, just like we did in our goddess. Breath in. Exhale, spin one way. Inhale, forward. Exhale, spin the other. Couple more. Inhale, forward. Exhale to spin. One more each way. And one more each way again for good measure. Come back to chair. Exhale, maybe last seat. Ooh, feel those quads burning. Inhale, lift. And exhale, let's enjoy a longer fold. Come on down. Back to ragdoll arms if it suits you, or maybe for a Padahastasana gorilla pose, taking the hands under the feet. 
So I'm going to really slow things down here for a moment as we just relax, let go of everything that's happened so far. And preparing for the bouncing portion of class. We played around with it a little bit in our airplane. We're going to add on here with a few more. Last few breaths. Maybe you're gently pulling on your feet with your hands if you're stepping on them to help open up your back. Getting ready to come out, release any grip you're working with. Moving steadily from the core, inhale, lift up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So we will be using our block for our next balancing pose. If you have one or if you only have a water bottle or a stack of books, that's gonna work too. So let's take that near the front of the mat just so it's ready for you. So we'll start here by inhaling the arms up. Exhale, soften and bow down. Inhaling halfway, find that strong lift here. We're making our way into a half moon from here, balancing on the left leg first. Take your left hand onto your block. Walk it off your mat, that's gonna give you a longer support base. Wider will be easier. As you breathe in, use that same deep core action to lift the right knee and right hand up into the chest. Just like we did in the warm up now, open it out and around. Now instead of just that tabletop way, we are here in our half moon. We're trying to lift up in a way, push away from the block hand up. Maybe you're actively pressing through a flexed foot, gazing to the earth, to the side, to the sky. If you fall out of it, your choice to try again or not. Last breath. So we're moving right into a balance on the opposite foot here. So allow yourself to come back down into that fold. Inhale halfway and exhale, dive it down. Now inhale all the way up and exhale, sit back into chair. Now the weight's going to come into the right leg as we find a figure four. I like to take hands to the heart, lift the opposite heel, so left heel lifts, take it up and cross it. Now sometimes I need to use my hands like a little tightrope walker to steady myself, so you do what you need. Eventually, hands come to heart, you might sink down into a deeper seat, find a soft place to gaze. Slow and steady. Soften the expression on your face. One more round, maybe pressing more into the hands. Ooh. Let's inhale, release, unwind, lift up, exhale, hands, heart center. Beautiful. Maybe we just kind of shake that side off and say, oh, I loved you side one, but I'm done. So I'm just going to let you go. And we're going to try again on the other side. Same gorgeous thing. We'll gently allow the arms to slow, find our stability, glue the feet down, maybe find that lift, reminding ourselves this is where we want to move from. Inhale, arms sweep. Exhale, a soft bow with soft knees. Inhale to a strong half lift. Now we find our block under the right hand, move it off to the side. Pressing into the block and up and away from the earth, we inhale and lift, left knee and left elbow up. Open, expand, half moon. Block has many heights, pick the one that works. It's much easier to keep your gaze to the ground. With time, you could try to lift it to the side or maybe towards the sky. Squeeze your glute, keep your legs strong, Notice what muscles can relax, like your beautiful face. Another breath. One more, and we'll release to fold. Let's everything come on down. Let's inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, back to chair. Arms forward, getting ready to balance on the opposite leg. Hands might come to heart center if that helps you out. You lift the right heel and slowly take it up, cross it over. I always need my tightrope walker arms there. 
Oh, the sun is really shining now. It's such a beautiful day. All that beautiful fresh air. Those lovely trembling muscles. Last few. And wherever you are in this pose is fabulous. You can always opt for a different one if it's not working. One more breath. Gorgeous. Feet, pull hands down. Inhale it up. Exhale, hands, heart, center. Beautiful, shake it off. <sighs> you gotta wipe down the sweat, grab your water, you grab what you need to do. One more. We'll slowly allow our arms to steady. And again, we find that soft but firm mountain balancing between a gentle strength and a softening. Because when we're calm, we can really conquer. Let's begin our slow journey to the ground. Inhale, arms sweep. Exhale, a slow hinge. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, we'll step it back for a down dog here. We're going to take an inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, wave and roll, plank position. Either holding plank still, taking a decision on your own to come and rest, or last round of Diablo planks here. Ankles one way, or heels one way, and then the other. So you just spin over on the toes, side to side, keeping your chest down, or facing down rather. Grip the floor, grip the mat with the fingertips, spreading the evenly through the hands. And I'm still Diablo planking here. And we've got one more. And we're just finishing up on the other side. Let's drop the knees. Drop all the way down. Make a little pillow for your forehead, maybe. And just rest. You can bend your knees and let them shake out side to side. Good. So continuing with our hip focus here, we're going to come onto our half frog next, or some of you might like a full frog. I'll show you our half frog option. So what we'll do here is you're just going to take your right leg off your mat. This is your little frog leg here. And then you try to spin the chest down and let yourself find a place to rest. So the closer your knee is up to the shoulder, the deeper this stretch will feel for you. If you're not feeling much, you can put a little more weight intentionally onto that side yourself. But maybe instead of pushing, you just soften and just kind of let your body take over. And as you really let go and stop trying, your body may soften on its own into a deeper half frog. As you stay here in half frog and breathe, I'll give you a quick showing of a full frog for anybody who's really just not feeling anything at all, you would spin towards the long end of your mat, take both legs out into little froggy legs, and lay down this way. If you are in a full frog, you wanna to try to keep your ankles behind the knees, shins pretty parallel, and then just kind of find it. Sometimes a block under the chest here, if that's a little too deep, might feel better. So allow your practice to unfold for you. Feel free to use props. Try things a little differently because every single one of us is built differently. All of us are different in our hearts and that's what makes everything so beautiful. We all have our special place in this world. Taking our last breath on that side. And we'll very slowly come out of our half rod by taking your right leg back. And now the left leg will come out. If you've opted for full frog, like my Karina back there, you can stay in your full frog as long as you like. When it starts to feel uncomfortable for you and you'd like to come out, go ahead and listen to your body. I always encourage you to listen to the cues of your teacher, but then let your soul, your body decide when they're right for you. Not coming from a should have place or an anxious place, but a real quiet place. We'll be here for another few breaths.
really let go. Coming into our final breath on this side. Great. All right. So if you're in a full frog, very, very slowly come out. And if you're in a half frog, very, very slowly come out. Very often, we injure ourselves on the way out because we want to get out so quickly. So we always move with intention. We'll come to a gentle hands and knees position here for a moment. Just kind of loosen the back up. We'll inhale, little cow. Exhale, little cat. A couple more. And one more. Good. All right, we're going to come down to sit. And before we completely relax for the rest of class, play around with our boat again. Maybe adding some of those fire twists in. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So I'm going to start with my feet in front. And I am working that nice long spine. Just lean back until you find that point where your abdominals catch you. You don't want to round. Stay long and strong. I'm going to reach forward. Maybe you decide to lift the feet. At any time, both feet can come down or one foot can come down. So there's all kinds of different ways to work here. Fire mudra. Reach it up. Inhale. Exhale. Spin to the right. Hi. Inhale up. Exhale. Spin to the other side. Now, if this is starting to dump into the low back, you definitely want to drop the heels so you can continue to stay strong here. Last two up. And make it down to the side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, last spin. Now we'll come back for our final moment. Feet are up or down. If you just need a little extra help, you can hold the thighs for five, three, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let your feet come down now. We're gonna make our way gently onto the back. So take a slow journey onto your back. Oh, just allow your back to fully soften into the earth. So we're not trying anything particularly here. We're softening. You can hold on to your thighs or knees. Find a gentle rocking from one side to the other. You can stir your knees together in one direction and then the other direction. And maybe you just wanna try a few with the knees separate. So this gets a little bit more stirring in the hips, separating the legs. And the other is more of a just roll for the back and actually helps to stabilize the core. From here, we're finding a little bit of a back bend here in our bridge, drop your feet. You want your ankles under the knees or a little further away. You don't wanna take them too close because it can put a lot of pressure on the knees there. So let's take our way up into bridge by pressing into the hands fully. Inhale, lift your hips and begin to explore. And you can start to take your shoulders a little closer to each other. Sometimes I drop the hips a bit and find more softening in the front and then lift a little higher. For me, that feels better. Focusing on lengthening through the front line of the body, strengthening the back line without over clenching the glutes, the glutes and the hamstrings are working in unison to hold you here for another part. We're going to go for three more. Your breath lasts as long as it does. One more. On your next in breath, maybe you come up slightly higher. Shoulders walk out and exhale from the top of the spine to the bottom, we slowly lower. We'll take a quick pause in our reclined bound angle, soles so the feet touch, knees spread out. I always like to add a little self-adjustment in here by taking my hands to the tops of the thighs, right into the hip crease. Let's gently press away. Sometimes I do it like a little kitty, and I paw one and then paw the other. Before I press with steady hands on both sides, and try to breathe into the small of your back, lower back here. 
If you prefer to leave your arms out of it, you can just let the upper body completely rest. Shoulders draw from ears. Palms face the sky with gentle curled fingers. If you're practicing outside today, I hope you're enjoying the same beautiful gentle breeze I am, even if you're not right here with me. We have that connection of this same beautiful gentle breeze. Just noticing what it is that you notice. Maybe it's a buzz of insects or a bird. Maybe it's just the breath. Last year. One more. Good. I'm going to take you into a full traditional half pigeon. If you prefer to do your half pigeon on your back figure four style, then you will come here. If you are coming with me, take your knees in, rock a little side to side or forward and back. I like to rock forward and back a bit. Make your way to a seat, plant your hands, and hop your way back to down dog. From here, we will inhale the right leg to the sky. Maybe to aid this inversion, you bend and wiggle that leg and bend and extend it a few times. Inhale it up and back. Exhale, last time, knee into the chest. Maybe last time. And drop the knee down behind the right wrist. The back leg comes to the center of the mat. Try to get the very center of that quad down. So if you're sinking off to the right side, it can be nice to take a rolled blanket or a block up under the hip here. And as you're ready, leading with the gut, the belly, you'll start to bow forward over the front leg. Then the heart follows the gut. And finally, the head comes last. As you get there, you might start to feel more open eventually. You might need a different size block or readjust your blanket. And find some ease. Not really worrying about where that front shin is, but just where the right thigh is, it should be parallel to the edge of the mat. You can let your head rest on folded arms, or maybe your head rests on the ground. If neither one of those seems like a good option, block under forehead. Uh, that's working for me today. not worrying about where you're going or what's coming later on this afternoon, but giving yourself this time to really soften. One more. We're gonna moonwalk this pigeon out if you're here with me in this version. Otherwise, if you're in figure four, you can just stay there and enjoy. We're gonna take our hands now and walk them away from the front knee on the floor. So we're walking them over to the left, getting a nice side stretch into the side ribs. If the floor is a little too far away, you can bring your forearms up onto a block here. Just accentuating that side stretch. Maybe you reach the right arm. You do what feels right. I also find I get a little deeper into the hip here as I add this little crescent shape in. Add another breath there. And we'll come back to the center, walking your hands forward. Puff up your pigeon chest, draw the shoulders back, and we'll make our way up. So hands come down, curl the back toes. As you lift the back knee, see if you can lift the front knee too. Whoop, back up, nice. Inhale it up and exhale it back down. Now check out your legs. They should feel very, very different. Mine do, and we'll go for the other side. Inhale, left leg sky high. Your choice to bend knee and keep it there. Sometimes I like to give it a little shake, aid the inversion of that leg, shake the blood down a bit. So you'll take a big in breath to expand and lengthen. Exhale, knee curls in for a moment, knee places down, find your alignment of your thigh in line with the side. Puff up, nice and proud. And leading from your belly, bow it down. 
Nothing like a smile from Karina to brighten my day. Let yourself find a sense of peace and a sense of ease. So both sides are different. You may or may not need a block on the side. So really in tune into your needs, your body. After several breaths, your body might soften more. So if that block or blanket starts to feel not right, then you change it. You never have to stay in a place that makes you feel uncomfortable. Couple more breaths this way. Last one before we moonwalk. I'm showing my age. I love a good moonwalk. All right, let's come on up just enough so that we can now walk away from the left knee, walking the hands out to the side. Maybe you want that block there. Forearms can be down. If forearms down is too far, forearms up. Making any adjustments to your block or your body. Maybe exploring reaching a little longer with that arm. You want to collapse and bother the opposite shoulder. See if you can release any remaining tension here. Let the breeze take it away from you. Let's start to make our way back to the center. So come back, unwind, unfurl, puff up your proud little pigeon chest. Curl back toes as you plant the fingers. As the back knee lifts, maybe front knee lifts. And we'll take it up and back for our three-leg dog. And finally, down to the ground. Last down dog here. Let's take our way down onto hands and knees. And finally, coming down onto the back. For one last final time, and we will not get up from this position until the end of class, and it feels so good to arrive here. Ah, uh, the sun just started to peek through the clouds, even more. Knees come into the chest, rock a little. We're going to find a half happy baby today, so we'll extend the left leg down, and then the right foot comes up towards the sky. You can hold on to the outside or inside, I prefer outside on a half happy baby. I'm just going to try to take that knee down to the side, a little bit into the armpit towards the side of the chest. You want to anchor the opposite hip down into the ground. So sometimes to remind myself of that, I will just take my left hand here to the top of the thigh. This is a lovely stretch for my hip, but if your hip is deciding it's not so lovely, you could opt to back off a bit, or maybe you prefer your two-legged version. One more breath here. Now maybe still holding on to the foot, we're going to bend the knee more. Kind of like we're in our standing when we're leaving pose, holding the foot. You're welcome to hold the foot still, or I actually prefer now to transition to hold the shin and squeeze that knee in. Nice stretch for lower back, actively pressing through the lengthened heel. We will release our right arm out to the side. Hold on, and then let your leg cross on over. Long, slow breaths. In your spinal twist here, we want to try to keep both shoulders down if possible. Just soften, wringing out toxins, wringing out tightness, tension. Let's inhale and come back to the center. Both knees come in for a little hug. And then we'll extend the opposite leg down as we come into our single happy baby other side. Grab the outside of your foot, maybe pull it down just as far as you can pull. Not a real deep pull, but just a little loving help. And maybe you put your hand on the opposite hip bone here to remind it to stay anchored. 
This is one of my very favorite stretches. I tend to do it all the time, even watching TV on the couch. It's lovely to sneak in little poses here and there. So even if you don't have a full hour to practice, five, 10 minutes sometimes is all you need. We'll transition now into our wind relieving pose, bending the knee. You can keep the foot for a moment to get it up there nice and high. Eventually we will release to hold on to the shin, interlace your fingers on the shin and add a little pressure, squeeze. Other foot actively presses away, so we're in an active stretch. Finding our twist on the other side, really same side arm out to side, palm can lay down. Opposite hand onto the knees, the knee crosses over and twist. You can let your closed eyes face up towards the sky or maybe you turn your head towards the extended arm if that feels lovely in your neck. If you've tried it and it doesn't feel so lovely in your neck today. Remember, we don't stay. We're exploring. We're finding our options. We're following our own paths. Another two. One final breath. Good. As you inhale, we'll gently unwind here. Take any last Hug, squeeze, movements, rocks, whatever it is that you need to feel good, to close, gently releasing into your optimum Shavasana position. Today, every day is a new day. I'm gonna try to extend my legs long here, finding that kind of softened mountain pose on the mat, no longer holding the belly letting the legs just relax totally. I often take my shoulders up off the mat for a moment, inch them down from my ears one at a time and gently place them back down. Adding a little ease into the neck and shoulders where I tend to keep a lot of my tension. Fingers find a natural curl as you just allow. For those of you that are finding this is uncomfortable on your lower back, I suggest that you bend your knees with the feet to the floor just far enough apart so that they can gently knock in towards each other and lovingly support each other. In either position, just let yourself start to incorporate everything that we've done. The physical body, spiritual, mind, all of your emotions, letting all those parts of yourself absorb the benefits of your practice, helping to bring all of those parts of yourself into a happy unity. And when you're feeling that way, we can spread that feeling throughout our communities helping us all feel even and balanced, accepted and loved and supported. Allow yourself to bathe in this beautiful, lovely feeling for a few more moments. As you're ready, you'll start to gently bring some natural movement into your body. Toes, fingers might wiggle around a bit. Maybe you take a nice long stretch of the arms up and back to the back of the mat, stretching your feet long. Eventually, knees come into your chest. Hold yourself. Roll off to one side as you're ready. And with time, you'll press yourself up to a seated position. 
Once you've arrived there, we will again sit with our legs crossed. Take your hands to prayer at the heart. Tuck your chin for a moment, honoring yourself where you are today in this moment, and knowing that wherever you are, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. We'll close class again with the sound of Om and with the word Namaste, beginning with our Om. Let's take a breath in together. Oh. Lovely. And a word that means I see you in me. And because of this, we are one. Namaste. Let's take our thumb knuckles to the third eye center. And on the count of three, one, two, three, namaste. It's been my pleasure to be here with you this morning. I thank you all so much. We're here every day at 9 a.m. and I hope to see you in class real soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.